welcome you all for the discussion of probability let us start with the definition of random variable that is the base point of the discussion of the probability what is a random variable if we look into the definition of random variable random variable is a value or a real number that is associated to outcome of an experiment suppose in general if we conduct an experiment then there are various outputs or outcomes for the experiment then just to make our observation easy let us assign some real numbers to outputs that makes our observation easy then the collection of such real numbers is called random variable for example suppose we are tossing a fair coin that is the experiment time being then if we toss a fair coin then there are only two possibilities or there are only two outcomes one is we get tail or we get head then associate real numbers to these two outcomes you can associate 1 to head and 0 to tail or you can associate 0 to head and 1 to tail so the thing is we need to associate real numbers to outcomes of an experiment then these 1 and 0 will be the random variables for this particular experiment so random variable is a function mathematically we can define as a function that associates that associates a real value to each of the outcome of an experiment then if we consider a random variable it can assign values in two ways either it can assign finite or discrete values in particular we may uh, tell that as infinite values also it can assign then if the random variable assumes finite or discrete values then it is called discrete random variable if the random variable assumes uncountably infinite values then we say that such random variable is a continuous random variable so in a simplified form any random variable that assumes discrete or finite values is called a discrete random variable and any random variable that assumes continuous values is called continuous random variable these are the two classification classifications of random variables then after uh, defining the random variable we have one more concept that is of probability function what do you mean by the probability function it is a mathematical function denoted by p of x just to stand this p for probability so it is denoted by p of x so p of x is called a probability function if it satisfies two condition one is p of x should be greater than or equal to 0 always and another condition is summation p of x if we add all the values of p of x then that sum should be equal to 1 so any mathematical function satisfying these two conditions is called probability function in such case the collection of values x along with the probability function p of x this collection is called probability distribution this is called probability distribution so we have a probability distribution x comma p of x means p of x is a probability function okay this whole collection x p of x will be probability distribution if p of x is a probability function then we have some important formula here how to find mean variance and standard deviation for the given probability distribution okay the mean is given by it is denoted by mu and is given by summation x into p of x and variance is given by variance v equal to summation x minus mu whole square into p of x and moreover this probability distribution x comma p of x this is called 
discrete probability distribution or finite probability distribution if it is a discrete random variable and is called continuous probability distribution if it is a continuous random variable that point you should keep in your mind so these are the some basic important details that we need to solve problems on random variables okay so the first problem i am going to consider here is show that the following distribution represents a discrete probability distribution show that following distribution represents discrete probability distribution find the mean and variance find the mean and variance so your distribution is given x p of x this is called a distribution 10 20 30 40 these are the values of x 1 by 8 3 by 8 again 3 by 8 1 by 8 These are the values of p of x. See the collection of x and p of x is called distribution. If p of x is a probability function, then this will be probability distribution. If x is a discrete random variable, then this this distribution will be discrete probability distribution. You have to understand that difference. Solution. So distribution is given. Distribution को तेज़ा रहे ना हमें क्या इतना probability distribution है तो प्रोमोट को। I mean discrete probability distribution है तो प्रोमोट को। इधर ले discrete है ना तो obvious है follow आ जाता है। कंदरे x तो discrete value है तो finite value तो होने दें। तो obvious ये तो discrete है। Probability distribution है तो प्रोमोट को। Probability distribution है तो प्रोमोट को कंदरे p of x तो probability function है तो प्रोमोट को। So clearly, so probability function means it has to satisfy two condition. One is p of x must be greater than or equal to zero, and summation p of x must be equal to one. If that condition satisfy, ah, give the answer. Check mark. If it does satisfy, give the p of x probability function. Agar the quotient or distribution of probability distribution. Agar the so clearly p of x is greater than or equal to zero because p of x assumes one by eight or three by eight only two values, and summation p of x equal to 1 by 8 plus 2 times of 3 by 8, 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8. That I have written as 2 times of 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8, which is 8 by 8, 1. So p of x is a probability function. So this proves that the given distribution is a probability distribution. So that completes first part. Second part, we need to find the mean and variance. So here mean mu equal to let us write the formula summation x into p of x that is 10 into 1 by 8 plus 20 into 3 by 8 plus 30 into 3 by 8 plus 40 into 1 by 8. So that is, you can take eight as a common factor. Ten plus sixty plus ninety plus forty. You can check that this summation will be equal to two hundred. So two hundred by eight, it will be twenty-five. Next, variance. We need to determine mean and variance only. So the formula for variance is summation x minus mu all square into p of x. So that is actually 10 minus 25 all square by 8 plus 10 minus 20. Okay, sorry, it is 20 minus 25 all square into 3 by 8. Plus 
30 minus 25 whole square into 3 by 8 plus 40 minus 25 whole square into 1 by 8 that is by 8. So, we can check that this will be equal to 75. So, this is the variance and mean for the given distribution. So, this completes the first problem. So, the second problem we are going to consider is this one. Second problem. Find the value of k. Find k such that this is the notation for such that such that the following distribution represents a finite probability distribution. Observe here they have not given discrete word. They have given finite word here probability distribution. That is one step. Second one hence find mean I will just write mu and the standard deviation and also find also find p of x less than or equal to 1 p of x greater than 1 and p of minus 1 less than x less than or equal to 2 solution here the solution involves three steps E problem only solution more step is more different parameters can be first k value can be and second okay before that we need to write the distribution we need to write the distribution here x here are the values of p of x x values are minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 y values of k, 2k, 3k, 4k, okay, it is again 3k, 2k, k. Now, solution. So, here the solution involves three steps as I said already. First step, we need to find the value of k. Second step, we have to determine mu and standard deviation. Last step, we have to find the probability of x less than or equal to 1, x greater than 1 and x lying between minus 1 and 2. Okay, let us concentrate on the first step. Solution. Given the distribution, we had to prove that, I mean, we had to determine k assuming that the given distribution is a finite probability distribution. Given, so it is a finite probability distribution means p of x is a probability function given p of x is a probability function. So, p of x is a probability function means it has to satisfy two conditions. One is p of x greater than or equal to 0 and the second condition is summation p of x equal to 1. p of x is greater than or equal to 0. That means each of these functional values should be greater than or equal to 0. Obviously, it shows that k should be greater than or equal to 0 and summation p of x equal to 1. You can check that if you add all these values k plus 2k plus 3k up to k then you will get 16k equal to 1. So, from that k equal to 1 by 16. So, we got the value of k. This, is, this completes the first step. We have determined value of k. Next, we need to determine standard deviation and the variance okay to find to find number 1 mu that is summation x into p of x so it will be see minus 3 into k plus of minus 2 into 2k plus of minus 1 into 3k i have to continue it so, I get minus 3k minus 2 into 2k that is minus 4k again minus 3k 0 into 4k that is 0 plus 3k plus 4k plus 3k. So, you can check that it will be 0. 
second one we have to find variance because variance if you find the variance then the square root of that will be the standard deviation so for that first we need to determine variance so variance v equal to summation x minus mu all square into p of x but here mu is zero so it is simply summation x square p of x so it is minus 3 whole square into k that is 9k 9k plus minus 2 whole square into 2k you can check that it will be 8k plus minus 1 whole square into 3k 3k plus 0 again 3k plus 8k plus 9k you can check that this will be equal to see 9 plus 9 18 plus 16 34 plus 6 40 k so that is 40 by 16 8 5 and 8 2 za. so we get variance equal to 5 by 2 that is 2.5 and the standard deviation will be equal to square root of 2.5 it is approximately 1.58 so this completes the solution of the second part so finally we need to determine p of x less than or equal to 1 p of x greater than 1 and p of minus 1 less than or equal to x okay minus 1 less than x less than or equal to 2 so to determine that let us write down the distribution again. That will be easy. The distribution can't be other than the We have here x, p of x, x value minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. You can't tell us the number of the number of the number 3k, 4k, 3k again, 2k, k. Now, p of x less than or equal to 1. p of x less than or equal to 1, that is, you have to find the possibility of p of x less than or equal to 1, that is, possibility of x being less than or equal to 1. So, that is, possibility of x equal to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 1. So, it is obviously p of minus 3 plus p of minus 2 plus p of minus 1 plus p of 0 plus p of 1. So, it is actually p of minus 3 is k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k plus 3k. So, 4 plus 6, 10 plus 3. So, it is 13k or 13 by 16. Second possibility is P of x being greater than 1. Greater than 1 means P of 2 plus P of 3 had to compute. P of x equal greater than 1. So, it is P of 2 plus P of 3. P of 2 is 2k plus p of 3 is k that is 3k or 3 by 16 the last one p of possibility of x strictly greater than minus 1 and less than or equal to 2 so i had to exclude minus 1 i had to start from 0 p of 0 plus p of 1 plus p of 2 p of 0 plus p of 1 plus p of 2 p of 0 is 4k plus 3k plus 2k so it is 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 so 9k that is 9 by 16 so this completes the solution of the next problem so till now we discussed two problems now let us discuss one more problem that is a random variable x problem number 3 
a random variable x as the following distribution as following probability distribution so distribution is given now x and p of x values of x are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and values of p of x are 0 k 2 k again 2 k 3 k then k square 2 k square 7 k square plus k now find k first step i have to find k second one find p of x less than 6 finally i have to find okay x less than 6 and x greater than or equal to 6 both the things i have to determine and also i have to determine finally p of 3 less than x less than or equal to 6 also find the probability distribution also find the probability distribution okay now solution find the probability distribution means just you have to write down this given probability distribution with the value of k that's all so given the distribution and it is mentioned that it is a probability distribution so assuming that we need to find k so kutti around the distribution no probability distribution agi there so our information is more kundu k value continue since the given distribution is a probability distribution we must have p of x greater than or equal to 0 and summation p of x equal to 1 that is you can check that that implies k must be greater than or equal to 0 and summation k I mean sorry summation p of x equal to 1. Now yes, this should be hold k greater than or equal to 0. If you had all these values of k you can get 10 k square plus 9 k equal to 1. Taking this 1 to the left hand side you get 10 k square plus 9 k minus 1 equal to 0 factorizing it will be 10k minus 1 times k plus 1 equal to 0 so that implies k equal to 1 by 10 or k equal to minus 1 so this is not possible because we must have k greater than or equal to 0 so this is the only possibility so we must have k equal to 1 by 10 now let us write the distribution again that will make our calculation easy thus the probability distribution is is here the values of x here the values of p of x values of x are 0 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the values of p of x are 0, 1 by 10, 1 by 5, again 1 by 5, 3 by 10, 1 by 100, 1 by 50 and 17 by 100. Now, 
नंबर वन पी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन से इक्वल टू पी ऑफ एक्स लेस देन सिक्स मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड पी ऑफ जीरो प्लस पी ऑफ वन अप टू पी ऑफ फाइव You can check that this will be zero plus one by ten plus one by five plus one by five plus three by ten plus hundred. This will be eighty one by hundred. Next, p of x greater than or equal to six. See, if we have p of x less than a, it will be always equal to one minus p of x greater than or equal to a, or If you have p of x greater than or equal to a, then it will be one minus p of x less than a. Using that, this result, p of x greater than or equal to six is actually equal to one minus p of x strictly less than six. So it is one minus eighty one by hundred. That is point one nine. R If we write this, just like a previous point, it will be actually p of x equal to six, x equal to six. I mean, it is actually p of six to so, il bar di dola. Igar ite bar di dudre dena kito p of six plus p of seven at that. So avaga. One by fifty plus seventeen by hundred. Check mode. Above the corner zero point one nine birthday. So last turn is going to be the answer. P of three strictly less than x less than or equal to six. So that is you have to exclude three. So x strictly greater than four three. That is you have to start from four, five, and six. So p of three plus p okay p of four not p of three p of four plus p of five plus p of six. So it is actually three by ten plus one by hundred plus one by fifty. You can check that it was thirty three by hundred. So approximately zero point three three baros. So this is how we have to solve this one. So finally, let us consider the last problem. The last problem I am going to discuss is this one. The probability distribution function of a variate is given by probability distribution of x is given by. Let us write the Distribution here x and p of x values of x are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and values of p of x are k, three k, five k, seven k, nine k, eleven k, thirteen k. Okay. For what value of k? This will be probability distribution. So, assuming this a uh, probability distribution, I have to find the value of k. That is the first part of the question. Also, also find p of x greater than or equal to five. P of x greater than or equal to five, and P of three less than x less than or equal to six. So distribution is given, which is a probability distribution. You have to find suitable value of k so that it remains a probability distribution. That is the first part. Second part, you have to find p of x greater than or equal to five and p of x lying between three and six. Assuming p of x probability distribution 
so we will be having p of x greater than or equal to 0 and summation p of x equal to 1. So that implies we must have k greater than or equal to 0 and summation k. We can check the sum of these values k plus 3k plus 5k plus 7k and you can check that that will be equal to 49. So 49k equal to 1 or k equal to 1 by 49. So we got the value of k. Next, find p of x greater than or equal to 5. p of x greater than or equal to 5. So that will be actually directly you can do p of x equal to 5 that is or simply write p of 5 if you don't have any doubt you can directly write it p of 5 plus p of 6 so p of 5 is 11k plus 13k that is 24k or 24 by 49 next p of 3 Strictly less than x less than or equal to 6 equal to p of 4 plus p of 5 plus p of 6. p of 5 plus p of 6 we have already computed. It is 24 plus p of 4. 24 plus 9k. 33k or 33 by 49. Okay. So this completes the solution of last problem uh, let us take one problem as exercise okay this much is enough for the problems on finding the value of k so these are the problems on random variable next video let us discuss problems on discrete probability